Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I wanted to film a video showing you all how I put Shein's nail art to use. Um, I have been doing a lot of Shein nail hauls and I want to let you all know that their products are great and they work really well. So I did do this set using a ton of Shein's products so definitely stay tuned to see how I achieved this beautiful Christmas nail art design using Shein products. Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing another Nail Therapy Thursday video and I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing my first Christmas design here on camera with you guys and I practiced on one hand already and so I'm going to show you all how I got this beautiful look with the other hand but it is like this nice um, light pink icy looking blinged out design so yeah I'm really loving how it turned out um the only issue I had was like a little bit of shaping but that's no worries because this set is absolutely stunning so I'm actually kind of sad because I did a peel off base coat with this and I kind of wish I didn't because I love it and want to keep it on for a while but that's okay let me show you all what you need to recreate this design so you are going to need um this is optional actually but this is the peel off base coat that I'm actually testing out for the first time it's a gel peel off base coat so we'll see how long that lasts you'll also need your extend gel and top coat because I am going to be applying um full cover clear tips you also need a base coat and, and this is for some nail art. You need a wax pencil along with a lamp which is going to be useful for you when you apply your tips and then your nail polish choice of color. Okay and so to get this look I did also use mylar so you'll need some mylar here along with some saran wrap okay. So I'm going to show y'all why you need all this here shortly okay. So first things first is I am going to go in with my peel off base coat. This is from the brand Moran. I've never heard of them before, but I saw a fellow YouTuber use it and it seemed like it worked pretty well for her. Um, so shout out to you. Um, I found this via, I think Nails by Nelly. Yeah, Nails by Nelly. So yeah, I'll go ahead and leave her uh, channel link down below too, um, showing you all. I'll go ahead and leave her channel link down below too. Um, with her using this product, but um, it seemed like it's been working pretty well for her. You don't need to prep your nail or anything. You just put it on and cure for 30 seconds. So I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds. Um, the other thing you're gonna need is your tips here. I have mine all lined up. I actually forgot to etch the inside of a tip, but no worries, we'll go ahead and do that right now. So I have etched the inside of my nails here. I am actually using these nails here. I got these off of Shein, so um, they seem like they're working out pretty well so far, so I really can't complain. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Gelin Extend Gel and apply a little bit to the inside of this nail here and have my lamp handy, okay. And then I'm just gonna apply, actually I'm just gonna apply just a little bit here at the cuticle. I found that with these tips in particular, I really didn't need a lot of a lot of extend gel like at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and so I'm gonna go ahead and just get it at the cuticle line and push down and then cure. After you flash cure these, you'll go ahead and fully cure them in your large lamp. This is what the nails look like after they've been filed, shaped, and buffed. Now I'm going to go in with, this is a really old gel polish. This is from Sally Hansen. Um, and this is the Shall We Dance, which is a really nice sheer pink color, as you guys can see. So I'm going to go in with this and apply two coats to each nail. Hey Google, what time is it? 
Wahnsinn. It's 10, Okay, so this is what the color looks like after two coats. Now I'm gonna show you all how I do the encapsulated Mylar. So this is just some Mylar that I got from uh, my local Walmart. Um, so first thing that I'm gonna do is, for the Mylar, mylar you're gonna need some saran wrap as well. Um, I just cut a little square off, and I do have um, some on a plate ready to go. So the first thing you want to do is go in with some base coat, some base gel, and just apply it to the entire nail. And honestly, you can go through and apply the base coat to all of the nails, and that's just going to give it that uh, sticky inhibition layer that you can work with to help you kind of adhere the mylar to the nails. So I'm going to go through and do this. Then I'm gonna flash cure the nails for just maybe 10, 15 seconds. Okay, like so. So I'm gonna flash cure this for 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, so I actually just have just a regular, you know, cuticle pusher, a wooden cuticle pusher. And what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of this base coat and just put some on the wooden stick, right? And then I'm gonna use that to pick it up and just place it on the nail. And you kinda wanna just place it on the nail kinda haphazardly, um, just to kinda create kinda like that, almost an ombre effect, you know? And so I'll do that until I'm kinda satisfied with the placement of them. Pretty good to me. If that's too big. There we go. That's too big too. Okay. Yeah, so that looks good, right? So that's how that looks after it's all been applied. And what I do is just kind of with my finger, I just kind of push the sides in just so that you know it's not too lumpy. And then I'll just go in and maybe press it a little bit with my finger just to get it to lay a little bit flatter. And then the last trick is to take your saran wrap, lay it over the nail like so, and then just lay it flat. And you're essentially just wrapping the nail. And then you'll want to cure this for 30 seconds. Okay, so after it's been cured for 30 seconds, you will just remove it like so. And then you will see that the mylar is laying nice and flat. If you have any pieces that are sticking up, um, that's okay. You can choose to remove it or the top coat will normally flatten that out for you. So you'll go through and repeat that for the rest of the nails. Okay, so I've applied the Mylar and did the saran wrap for all the nails here. Next, you're gonna go in with your top coat and that's gonna encapsulate everything. Be sure to have some paper towels handy so that in the event that any Mylar flakes up or gets on your brush, you can easily wipe it away. What you're gonna wanna do is flip this over for 10 seconds and that hopefully can fill in any gaps that might be in between the individual pieces of Mylar and then you can cure for the full 60 seconds. Alrighty, so this is what this looks like with the top coat on. So honestly, you all, if you wanted to, um, you could stop here if you wanted to just get like a cute, simple, kind of icy looking 
um, cute, simple, icy looking Christmas design. You don't really have to add all the extra stuff I'm gonna add, but we gonna make this jazzy, all right? So I'm gonna add in some cute little snowflakes. And then I'm also gonna add in some jewels. So I'm super excited about that. First, I'm gonna start with the stickers. I'm just gonna recreate the exact same thing on this hand here. So I wanna find the stickers that I used um, over here. And then I'm just going to place that here on the nail, like so. Place it on the nail like so. Alright, well I have to take a little intermission. My little one is up, but I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, let's finish this. So I am going to go ahead and I think I found the second snowflake here. Finish applying the snowflake stickers to the nail. And then we gonna bling it out, y'all. I'm super excited about this set. It looks so freaking good. And actually, I noticed that there's kind of like a lump here from the Mylar. So I am gonna go ahead and file that so that it's a smooth surface. Okay, so now it's time to add the bling. Oh, so I forgot to mention, both of these items I did get off Shein. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this bling here. And I am just gonna go ahead and use the Extend Gel to apply the bling. And I'm, like I said, I wanna kinda make these parallel. So essentially what I did was I just took, it looks like I took a little bit from this corner and brought it out to the side. So I'm gonna do that again. take some different sized crystals and apply them with my rhinestone picker. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this for about 10 seconds. And then next I'm gonna go in to the cuticle area here on the middle finger and apply some rhinestones. Okay, so all the rhinestones have been adhered and I did a full cure for 60 seconds. You guys, ain't she cute though? Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's that. The next thing you need to do is go in with your top coat and that's just to um, secure, secure and lock everything in place. So with this, you're gonna need a really fine, um, fine tooth brush. This also is something I got off Shein, but this is what you'll wanna use to go around your gem so that you don't dull them while you're applying your top coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my top coat here. And I'm just gonna kinda get really close to the gem, but not too, too close on it. And then on the back side, I'm just gonna drop, do like a small drop of gel. And I'm gonna use my detailer brush to kind of spread it out. And again, I don't wanna get any of the gel on the actual gems or the rhinestones. So I'm just gonna use this little detailer brush to kind of smooth it out here. Like so. And then the same thing at the top, I'll take some and just kind of go around the gems like that. further smooth it out and that's looking pretty good I'm gonna flip this and flash cure it for 10 seconds and I'm gonna do that to all the hands and after that I'm gonna fully cure for 60 seconds
All right, you guys, this is the finished product. What do you think? I am absolutely in love with this set. It looks so good. I, I feel like this is like nice, dainty, you know, getting slightly bougie with a little bit of bling holiday nail set because this just looks so good, you guys. Like, what do you think? Do y'all like it as much as I do? Cause I'm here for it, okay? This is giving classy holiday bling. This is giving, I'm being a little bit extra, but not too much extra. Like, do you all see this? It is absolutely stunning. I love this set. Oh my goodness. This is looking so good. So what I am gonna do now is just go in with some cuticle oil to make sure my cuticles stay nice and hydrated okay so we're just gonna go ahead and all these cuticles to really bring this bad boy to life let's get into it though do you all love this set as much as i do that encapsulated mylar with this bling and these snowflakes is given nice simple but a little bit extra um Christmas nails, y'all see here, I got the bling on the little snowflake here. Y'all, I'm loving it. Get into it though, oh my goodness. Okay, y'all, so yeah, like I said, I am a little bit sad that I applied that peel off base coat to this, but um, I'm gonna see how long it lasts. So I'm hoping it lasts at least a week because this stuff is super cute. And I do have a surprise. So guess what else this set can do, y'all? Look at this, look at the little snowflakes. Oh my goodness, I am absolutely in love with this set. Yes, I am absolutely in love with this set. This is probably one of the most intricate, interesting sets that I've done thus far, and I got it matching the background here. So yeah, let me know what you all think about this Christmas design. Um, I just wanted to try something a little bit different. I've been dying to play with that Mylar that I purchased, and I'm super happy that I got a chance to try it out for some Christmas nails. Like this set is really giving every single thing that it's supposed to give, okay? So I want you all to let me know what you think about this set down in the comments, and do you all have any ideas for any other Christmas sets I can do? I wanna try to crank out at least one or two more Christmas sets so let me know what you all think down in the comments um, I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday um, Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday videos so if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I would love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye